before I started working with AWS, I had no idea what the cloud even was. But as I started researching more and more about the cloud and being a cloud engineer, I just knew that this is an industry that I wanted to be part of. Now I have multiple AWS cloud certifications, the Solution Architect Associate and the Solution Architect Professional. And I work fully for myself as a freelance AWS cloud engineer. Now, a lot of beginners, when they start learning AWS, do this completely wrong. They miss the fundamental steps that impact their learning and impacts their chances of getting their first cloud job. So in this video, I'm going to share with you how I would learn AWS cloud if I could start over using all the knowledge and experience that I've gained so far. And I'm going to give you a structured way with a clear seven steps that you can follow to learn AWS cloud faster and make sure you watch till the end as I'll be sharing how you can join a completely free 12 week cloud AWS bootcamp. Before we get started, you should check out my weekly cloud newsletter where I'll share free resources, tutorials, bootcamps, and so much more to help you make your cloud move. First thing is first, and that is the cloud fundamentals. Now you simply cannot skip this step. And I know so many beginners want to just dive straight into the cloud provider of choice, for example, AWS, and take their first AWS certification. This is not a bad thing, but you can set yourself up for even longer term success if you first understand and learn the core cloud fundamentals, because this will help you learn AWS cloud much better much easier and much faster. I recommend learning first what the cloud is and why it's important and why businesses are moving into the cloud. After the business side, you should then focus on the technical side, which is learning about virtualization, networking, operating systems, and databases. The best place to learn about these concepts is using YouTube as your primary resource and learning the business cloud basics and the technical cloud fundamentals will give you a perfect foundation to jump into step number two, which is learning the AWS basics. And this is where you can finally dive into the basics of AWS. But this is not where you jump into certifications, which is what a lot of beginners do wrong. This is overwhelming and too much information to learn and revise and just pass an exam. For AWS basics, you want to start simple and increase the topics and complexity over time. Here you want to start doing AWS research, what AWS is, why it started, the competitors, read AWS blogs and their YouTube videos. You just want to immerse yourself into the world of AWS and start as wide as possible. And then over time, you will start to narrow your focus in an upcoming step. From here on, focus on learning the most common AWS services. Now, these services are genuinely used in almost every cloud project that I've worked on, and they keep coming up on new projects as well. These services are VPCs, S3s, EC2, IM, RDS, CloudFront, Route 53, Lambda. Now, don't worry, if you don't know what these are right now, you will learn about them on your AWS journey. You should do some high level research to get an idea on what these services are and what they actually do. At this stage, I also suggest making an AWS account and using the AWS free tier to get familiar with the AWS console, how to navigate it and look into their services and get used to them. So now that we have built the basic understanding of AWS, it's time to get our hands dirty. And the best way to learn is always by doing by building and by creating, not just by consuming. Now, if you want to get started with the cloud and become a cloud engineer, you should check out my cloud engineer handbook, where I provide you with a structured way of learning and guiding you to become a cloud engineer from zero to hero, covering the fundamentals, the tools, the technologies to learn, and a roadmap to become a cloud engineer. Right now, it's actually discounted at the moment because it's on pre-order, so move fast before the actual launch price. I'll drop a link in my description below. Step three is all about hands-on and building with AWS. Now, luckily for us, AWS has a fantastic resource called workshops.aws, which offers beginner-friendly AWS projects to help you get familiar with their services 
and what they do. This workshop website is so underrated. It has hundreds of projects that you can build and the most incredible resource for beginners starting with AWS. This step is crucial because actually using the services and building with them will benefit you when it's time to revise for your AWS certifications. It may seem daunting at first, but if you follow the workshop guides, you should be able to tackle them. And remember, they are beginner friendly. The best part about workshops at AWS is that it's a completely free platform with hundreds of projects available using all sorts of different services. Now, I recommend to complete around five to 10 projects on AWS workshops, which include the most popular AWS services, and then also create a document of what you've been actually building. Step number four of how I would learn AWS Cloud again would be to get familiar with the well-architected framework. This is a fundamental knowledge and theory that we have to understand in order to follow the AWS best practices when we are building projects. The well-architected framework consists of six pillars, operational excellence, security, reliability, performance, cost optimization, and sustainability. AWS Well-Architected Framework helps you understand the pros and cons of decisions that you're making whilst building systems on AWS. Now, by using the framework, you will actually learn architectural best practices for designing and operating systems in the cloud. Now, this AWS framework is a guide to follow and reference when you're working on actual client projects. So pick what works from there and then apply it to your projects. But when you are just learning AWS Cloud, use the well-architected framework just to understand the different pillars and how it's recommended to be used. Now, I won't cover what these are in detail because that means I'll be doing your own research for you. Step number five is to use the AWS Skill Builder. AWS Skill Builder is a resource that I believe is underused by beginners. Skill Builder has free self-paced digital courses helping you get familiar with AWS and earn AWS certifications. It has many learning paths and courses that help you acquire the technical skills in different areas of AWS. Again, I recommend using Skill Builder to help you get familiar with the AWS common services. This helps solidify your AWS knowledge through the common services used across all projects. Step number six is to get certified. Now, if you follow all the previous steps clearly and do what I suggested, getting AWS certified will be so much easier. Now, the reason that I left certifications until this step is because certification don't guarantee that you're going to get a job, which is why actually focusing on learning what matters in the previous step is what's important. Certifications do add credibility to your knowledge and skills, and that's why in this video, we focus on hands-on learning before diving into certification preparation. Now, of course, AWS being the biggest cloud platform means that AWS certifications are highly regarded in the industry. And passing an AWS certification can increase your salary and also help you stand out more during job applications. Now, since you would have already built a strong foundation of AWS fundamentals, key services, and cloud computing by the time you start your certification preparation, you'll be much better prepared and will have a much stronger and easier time understanding the concepts in the actual certification. Now, I recommend starting with the AWS Cloud Practitioner Foundational Certification first, as it provides a structured learning path and covers the basics of AWS and cloud computing. This certification demonstrates that you have a foundational understanding of AWS and also the different developer plans that they offer. It's basically a mix of business and technical foundation AWS concepts. Now you can check out my other video about how I passed the AWS cloud practitioner exam in just seven days if you're interested in this certification. The exam is multiple choice, it's 90 minutes long, and to prepare I use a video video courses and practice exams on Udemy. Now, after this certification, I recommend going for the Solution Architect Associate and applying the same preparation techniques that you use for the Cloud Practitioner Foundational for the Solution Architect Associate. Now, this Associate Architecture exam does require a deeper understanding of AWS because it has an architecture focused lens on the exam. And it's also the most popular and most important AWS exam 
for professionals getting into the cloud world. Now, if you already have AWS experience and knowledge, you could miss out the cloud practitioner foundational certifications. But if you are coming from a place with no cloud or technical background, then don't skip this exam. I'll include all resources I've used for my exams in the video description below. Step number seven is to share your work, which I think is one of the best things to do when you're starting your journey with AWS. This is crucial because not only does it showcase the great work that you're doing, but it can also open so many doors for you. Now, throughout the seven steps, I mentioned to document your learnings during the workshops, skill builder, and research that you're actually doing. This is because from those notes, you can create valuable content such as blogs, which you can share on your personal blog site or on social media platforms like X and LinkedIn. Now the AWS community on these platforms are massive and sharing your experience will connect you with other people from all over the world starting their AWS journeys too. And you can even network your way into your first cloud job. AWS also offers a free 12 week cloud bootcamp for beginners from all over the world called AWS Restart. AWS Restart is a cohort based training program that prepares you to start your career in the cloud and even connects you to potential employers. And you don't need a tech background to get onto AWS Restart. This program includes instructor led sessions and you'll cover Linux, Python, networking, security, databases, automation, and also core AWS cloud skills. But again, all these links will be down below in my description and drop a comment below which AWS service that you're learning next. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.